watching my video and video and if you're new please subscribe so you can stay connected thank you um i'm currently working as a junior doctor in a public hospital in melbourne i make video as a way to record my life journey and share my experience in a range of topics that i know thank you for watching and um, today we're gonna talk about gamsat um, which is short for graduate medical school admission test um, this is a special test that university in Australia used to select um, students into the doctor of medicine degree and um, basically a degree that qualify you to become a doctor in Australia um, this is kind of similar to the MCAT test in America and Canada I believe um, so now we we'll get on with the GAMSAS so in Australia um, with the majority of universities for example the University of Sydney, the University of Melbourne um, Australian National University you cannot start doing medicine or straight after year 12 you have to do a bachelor degree first more often bachelor of science a bachelor of biomedicine and then you sit the gamsat test and then you do an interview and together your mark for your bachelor degree your gamsat test mark and your interview mark will determine the selection into a doctor of medicine degree which is four years degree um, I did my MD, Doctor of Medicine, at the UC of Melbourne. I just graduated last December 2018. If you want to know more information about it, I also have a review video blog about the MD course here at the UC of Melbourne. Thank you. So now, let's start with the GAMSAT. So you can find lots of information about GAMSAT online. Um, so if you did, um, so I put a few links here. So the most important one, I believe, is the Acer, the information on the Acer website, which is the company that actually writes and prepares the GAMSAT test. Um, they have a very detailed booklet, PDF booklet, that has almost information, basic information you need to know about the GAMSAT, crucial, important information. Um, also, another two um, forums that I recommend is also Beijing called Beijing Doctor and Med Entry. Um, these two forums um, give you a lot of information from the people who took the test in the past. Um, for example, their feeling about the test, their preparation for the test, and <coughs> the source of mark each university required um, for you to get into the MD degree. And um, I relied a lot on these two forums when I prepped for my GAMSAT test and also my just the whole selection process into the medical school because it is really hard to get into medicine and I don't deny that it's actually very hard to get into a doctor of medicine degree at the University of Melbourne and among one of the most competitive ones um, so you do need a lot of support um, so now with the GAMSA test so basically it has three sessions um, reasoning in humanity and social science a writing uh, like a second session is a writing task and the third session is reasoning in um, science um, so the mark for your reasoning in humanity and social science will times one the mark for your um, writing task will times one and the mark for your social science will times two and all this would be divided by four to give you the average mark which is the mark that medical school used for you to do, do in during the selection process into the doctor of medicine degree um, so GAMSA test is a very very long test it took six hours for you uh, when i did when i did the test back then in 2013 2012 i can't remember top of my head um because for session one it had a 75 question it takes 10 minutes for reading time so writing time 100 minutes session two um there are two writing tasks you have to write two essays in 60 minutes and then for section three there are 110 questions and the and then the reading time 10 minutes and writing time 117 minutes and then you also have the break times and for the time to go in and then people sit down and prepare for the start of the test blah blah so it did take me six hours to complete the GAMSAT test and then for medical school admission you can do in Australia you can do the GAMSAT test in March and also GAMSAT in September. The one in September is also called GAMSAT UK because a lot of university in the United Kingdom also use GAMSAT for their selection process. And just make sure that your GAMSAT result is valid. Um, so for example, if you apply in 2020, for to, to start medicine in 2020, which means that the, you apply in 2019, the the oldest GAMSA test result you can use is the September 2017 one. So 
Yes, you can see the test multiple times and then you just submit the highest mark. Um, so now, so this is that a bit about the GAMSA test. Now move on to my uh, preparation uh, for the test. Um, so I think it's very important to have a study group for the GAMSA test. Um, so for my study group, I had um, I studied with another two friends and um, it is actually really important. Of course, you study by yourself, but you also need the help from your group as well. Um, you can solve the question together and motivate each other because it's actually a really stressful process. Um, it took me um, roughly five months, five to six months to prepare for the test. So I had to set the test in March and I start my preparation back in um, December, which is the first set I set. Um, so it took me a good like, uh, no, I started my preparation in late November. So it took me four months. And I know a lot of people start a lot earlier. They take, they, they prep for like a year or six months um, before they start the test. So with the first session, reasoning in humanity and social science, you do need to read a lot, read a lot of a literature textbook, um, because the test basically give you a text, liter a poem or literature text, and then you have to reason from it. So you need to have you need to read a lot of books. Because by reading, you used to reading fast. You need to have to read very fast. You use the vocabularies, complex vocabularies in old literatures, in poems, and things like that. So you can guess, you can reason easier if you can understand the original text better. And um, by by reading a lot, you also prep for your the second task, which is a writing task, which often has two. Um, you have to write two essays, one more about political science topic and the second one more about more personal, like your sense of belonging, identity and so on. But you do need the knowledge from, from reading a lot of books, a lot of events for you to write in ex examples in the, in the essays and also for the vocabularies, good for like vocabularies for you to write in the two essays. And um, the third session, which is reasoning in science, biological science, you need to have, yes, GAMSAT is a reasoning test, but you do need to have basic knowledge. So, so you can study for the test by, uh, uh, it's impossible to study everything for GAMSAT because it is a reasoning test. It tests your IQ, EQ, but you do need for your, for the third session in reasoning in social, uh, in, in science, you do need to have basic knowledge First year university knowledge in biology, biology chemistry, and um, physics. You can also have year 12 physics knowledge. But basically, if you did Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Biomedicine, um, get out your lectures, take your notes, start revising them. If you didn't get the textbook from your, the UC library, um, biology textbook, chemistry textbook, and physics textbook, first year university level, and then just study the range of topics in there so that is the basic thing and then another thing i also did is that i also bought um the preparation book from a company called desk o'neill and just disclaimer that i don't this is no sponsor from desk o'neill at all i'm new like no one gonna sponsor me to do this but that i found desk o'neill is quite helpful for me um and then you can the books are quite expensive but you can buy old books from people in the forum that i mentioned Forum Baiting Dr. Ahmed NG, a lot of people do sell their prep books after they complete the test. So you can buy these second-hand books and I think it's just equally as good as the new ones for in my experience. Um, yeah, um, they uh, they have three books, uh, books for humanity and social science. So they give you a lot of similar kind of similar questions, mimic the spines in the gamsat. And then another book, this thick book, with lots of questions for you in social science, in biology, chemistry, physics, it also mimics the style in the GAMSAT. Um, there's also a writing task um, that you can arrange up um, a range of topics, writing topics, and also uh, like sample essays for you to have a read and have a feel about what sort of essay and style you need to write for the GAMSAT test. Um, so I read, I did a lot in the Death on New Books. And then the and then a lot of time during my study group is that we work through the questions together. So we, we work through the questions together from the Death on New Books and also we read each other essays. 
um, and make sure that you do the essay in time condition as well. Um, besides the guest on new books, I also bought the books that for the MCAT. So MCAT is the version, it's kind of the Vergam set version in the US and Canada. Um, it's not exactly the same, the same as the game set, but it also follow kind of some styles, kind of similar. So I, I just want to have more preparation books for me to prep for the test. So I did bought a range of um, preparation book for the game cat. Um, I don't have the books with me anymore. I sold it a long time ago, but you can uh, find them online on eBay or Amazon's or book depository for you to just preparation for MCAT and um, in the science session, humanities sessions, and also I believe some writing one. Yeah, so the MCAT also helpful. Um, they also sold um, little books for you to revise basic knowledge in uh, first year university in biology, chemistry, and physics to summarize um, summarize this knowledge, physics, chemistry, biology, so you don't have to read through the like a big textbook in um, in the UC library, um, which is I think I found really helpful. So. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So just to summarize, I rely a lot first on the Acer website. You can I bought all their preparation booklet on there. It's like forty five dollars, I believe. And I also read a lot of information on the forum, Beijing Doctor and Med Entry. There's a lot of information, and you you feel a lot more supported if you read these forums. Um, information from these forums It's also have a lot of information about interviews as well. I also I will make another video about interview if you're interested and I did the booklet I, I study with my um, study group I um, study um, basic biology you see um, first year you see level in biology chemistry and physics together revise them together write essays and then share um, to read I also um, read um, did the prep book from Death on new um, books I also did the prep for the MCAT so there's five things that I, what I did for my preparation for the GAMSA test and good luck for you if you sit the test. Any questions, please leave the comment down in the, in, in the below. Thank you. Bye bye and good luck.